Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond AR TV. My name is John, and we have some unfortunate updates surrounding the downfall of Dance Gavin Dance. They're a band that have really gotten popular and received a fair share of fandom over the past 10 years, as their original vocalist Johnny Craig was kicked out of the band multiple times, it was a whole back and forth, and the universal ruling on that one seemed to be that Johnny Craig just was not a good guy, and he's continued to do bad things since leaving Dance Gavin Dance. Someone uh, posted to the Reddit and said something happened in my experience with Tillian. It did not go well. It was something uh, that continued to haunt them in the weeks and the months since uh, this transpired. And it seems like Tillian Pearson has allegations of him being quite coercive and forceful with women, even in situations where they're actively telling him no. And this is not just something that seems like, oh, we have nothing at all whatsoever. And it started off that way. Now, the first post did not contain texts, and their subreddit essentially imploded on itself as people were literally split down the middle. It's at 50% upvoted on the original post. The commenters were just back and forth, not knowing who to believe, what to believe, asking for more evidence. And then Tillian himself hopped over and made a post on the band's subreddit that has over 40,000 members, and this post was titled, Regarding Recent Allegations. This morning, I was made aware of allegations from someone regarding a brief relationship surrounding the weekend of Swanfest. Admittedly, this was a time when I was very vulnerable. Kind of deflects here, since this was recent. Uh, I do have to bring up the death of their bassist. Uh, he passed away in April of this year, Tim Fierick. Uh, young, tragic death. Um, I'm not entirely sure of the circumstances surrounding that, but... That's yet another thing this year that is dragging down Dance Gavin Dance as they're hot on the heels of their new record, uh, Jackpot Juicer, that's supposed to be out in July, but something's telling me that's not really going to happen at all. Now, going on with Tillian's post, he talks about having the text threads to back it up and how this person was painting a different scenario than what actually went down, and... It shows some pain and remorse here, but it also deflects, I feel like, a lot of the time. And if you continue reading, you can see, I take the subject of sexual assault seriously. And I want to firmly reiterate that there was no moment of anything happening that was not consensual. This is something that he's kind of continuously repeated to say that, you know, these things maybe did transpire, and it's starting to become a bit of a cycle here, something where people are noticing these red flags. There were some tweets as Twitter set ablaze as well, with people kind of bringing their own stories, a lot of women just kind of standing up with their side of the story with something that maybe happened with them and Tillian that definitely seemed problematic to them, but they felt guilty coming to the fandom with it. And that's when we get to another bombshell of a Reddit post. This one coming from the user SpookyPooky8. My Tillian story with pictures. And there is text evidence for everything in terms of their conversation. They met on the dating app Hinge. It went on to be a text conversation. They agreed to a date. Everything like that. The post and the pictures for the text. Everything is going to be linked down in the description. But the general overview, like I said, is that they met on Hinge, they ended up meeting up IRL, they went on a date, he was super sweet, and the whole night went well, until they got back to Tillian's place, allegedly. And this, of course, is where something uh, worse than I really even want to say allegedly transpired. Um, this, this person is alleging that uh, there was a rape that took place, uh, Tillian coercing, saying, come on, like, let's just do it. Uh, this, this woman was down to do other things. Like, she even agreed to, like, make out, oral, whatever, you know, just not penetration. And it got to that point where Tillian was essentially guilt-tripping so hard that she became scared. And, uh, God, it, it, it's just, it's, it's tough to even talk about again because... 
I don't know, something like this. There's there's so many times when things come out and we really truly do have to kind of hold our own and say, I need to pull back here. I need to look at all of the facts. I need to see exactly what happens so I can make sure I get the full view. And a lot of times, you know, it takes time to get that full picture. But unfortunately, the picture is being painted crystal clear for me, at least today, the way that I'm seeing this and the way that I think uh, more of even their most hardcore of fans are starting to admit to themselves as well. Of course, uh, I feel for the victims here more than anything else, but just to that smaller degree, I wanted to say that I, I genuinely do feel bad. Um, you know, my heart also hurts for those of you who are massive fans of Dance Gavin Dance, even though I personally did not like them, like could not stand almost everything they did. I think some people see me as like, you know, the enemy or the divide between like, oh, me and your favorite band. But realistically, I'm happy for you if this was something that you enjoyed, you like who you like, and we have differences in opinions. But I genuinely am sorry for anybody who's got Dance Gavin Dance is like their number one band. They were maybe buying tickets for the new tour and maybe they were super excited for a time that they had met the band or even met Tillian, the person that's actually being accused here. Uh, that heart has to be going through something as a fan. And so I, I guess the main thing here is that, uh, Again, I want you to check these stories out for yourself. There is a link in the description for everything that I've just talked about, the Reddit posts, and also some of the tweets and the text evidence that the uh, second woman that came forward officially with a full detailed account in a Reddit post, uh, all of that is linked down below. I hope that you guys will read them in full and just look into the situation for yourself. Um, again, also, I know this is a tender time because there's been so many changes in the band and with their bassist Tim just recently passing away, it almost felt like they were going back into the swing of things too quickly after losing somebody who had been with them for a very long time. But at the same time, uh, there's a lot of stuff that we still don't know and stories may continue to pour out and I'll, I'll try and keep a pen comment updated if there are a, a ton of new developments to this or maybe a new video will be warranted at this point. But anyways, guys, um, sorry to have to make a video like this, but I definitely thought it was worth talking about just kind of unscripted, unbullet pointed, just talking about the situation as I saw it, as I consumed it, as I watched it play out. And again, I know it's super tough to any of you watching during this time. I'm sure I could never understand because it didn't just happen to my favorite band or something. It didn't happen to Green Day or My Chemical Romance or whoever it might be. So I feel for you guys on that. I hope that you navigate through uh, this, I guess, tough time wrestling with like, oh, where do I land on this? Am I able to separate the art from the artist? Do I continue listening to their music? Do I want them to get a new singer? What do I want to happen here? Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you for watching.